So I just picked up a new fragrance recently. Um, it is another clone of Herod. And since I did the Clone Wars comparison uh, for Herod, uh, I figured I would kind of just do an update, taking into consideration the newest addition uh, to my collection. Uh, and that is from the House of Alexandria Fragrances, Arabian Horse. Now, when I reviewed this, I did Dapper's version. I did uh, King of Judea, Guitar from Dua. I reviewed um, House of Squirts, uh, their Herod. Uh, I'm not sure if I reviewed in that video uh, Central Obsessions version. I do have that though, so I can speak to that as well. Um, so anyway, when I when I did that review, I had mentioned that, you know, Dapper's was good, but it opens with this really like just odd grape bubblegum vibe uh, that goes away in the dry down. But the opening for some reason has this grapey tobacco bubblegummy kind of smell to it. No idea why. Um, for that reason, it's kind of off-putting a little bit in the opening. Um, Dry down is very similar to Herod. It just isn't as well blended um, as you know the actual Perfumes de Marley um, Herod. So you know, compared to Dua, Dua's is better blended. But honestly, I prefer Dapper's just because Dua's felt almost like a diet Herod to me. Uh, it was blended very well, very smooth smelling, but the vanilla, um, you know. The cinnamon, uh, the woods, the woodsy notes, all of it kind of was just like, just toned down. It was hard to really pick up much of anything, uh, which again means it's well blended to an extent, but it just smelled like a lighter version of Herod. Um, it had this softer vibe to it. And for that reason, I wasn't as big of a fan of it. It still smells good. Um, so how does Arabian Horse compare? Well, off the top, I can tell you it resembles more of Dapper's than it does um, Duo's. Some of you might be thinking that's a bad thing. But I don't. I think it's a good thing. Because Dapper's has that what Herod has. It has a very... Um, prominent vanilla tobacco opening. It doesn't have that light toned down vibe to it. Uh, King of Judea Tar by Dua is a very linear scent. Herod is to an extent, but King of Judea Tar is extremely linear. It smells the same throughout to me. Performance is good, projection is good, all that, but this, this is good. This has that more prominent vanilla. You can pick up the incense as well. But it doesn't have that off-putting grape that Dapper's has. And it also smells better blended. Performance and projection are crazy. Uh, like most Herods, uh, all of the ones I just mentioned, they all last very long. You get eight hours out of this easy, if not more. Uh, eight to ten hours of projections. Pretty good, too. I'd say about three hours of projection on my skin. Um, so it lasts very long. Uh, but it smells. This one just smells just better, higher quality. You get the vanilla, the woods, incense, cinnamon, all of it, but it just works so much better. Um, it's, it's stronger, but in a good way. And I don't know, I, it, that's part of why I like Herod. This, you just kind of want to keep sniffing it. Um, King of Judea Tar, I liked it, uh, but I didn't reach for it as much. Um, you know, and honestly, to be completely honest, I ended up selling it once I got um, Arabian Horse because I liked Arabian Horse that much better. So this is not a knock on Dua, obviously. I really do enjoy Dua fragrances, but to me, this is closer to the real deal. Uh, it just, it smells better all around. Performance projection are the same, um, you know, as Dua, as Dapper. As far as squirts, squirts kind of went that same way as uh, Dua's. It's a lower quality, but it had that softer vibe, the toned down vibe. Um, Central Obsessions is more in line with Arabian Horse, 
and dapper. Doesn't have the great bubble drum opening, which is good. Um, but it's also not as, doesn't smell as well blended uh, as Alexandria's. So if I had to rank these, my opinion, um, Arabian Horse, Central Obsessions, King of Judea Atar, um, Dapper, and then Squirts. Uh, that's how I would rank them. Um, you know, and that's after having a lot of time wearing them, um, actually able to really take in the, the, you know, the scents themselves and really compare them. So, you know, you really can't go wrong with any of them, but for the money all around, just best deal in my opinion, Arabian horse, hundred percent. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend it. Anybody who hasn't smelled hair, it is amazing. It's in Oriental. So fragrance, again, you get vanilla, you get incense, you get uh, musk, you get cinnamon, you get woods, you get pepper. There's a ton of notes in hair, floral, um, but they just work so well together. It's a perfect cold weather scent. It's going to push through the cold air. Uh, it's sexy. It's seductive. My fiance loves hair. She, again, along with me, likes Arabian horse the best. Um, I always have her compare, I compare myself and then I have her smell, uh, and compare the different versions of whatever I'm comparing to get her input. Uh, because I, you know, one, I want to make sure I'm not crazy. And then two, I like to be able to relay that information as another person. It's not just my, my input, you know? Um, but like I said, do not hesitate to pick up this if you want it. It's great. It really is. Um, it's one of my favorite from Alexandria. I'm a big fan of PDM and they do PDM very well.